Okay, hello everybody. I'm a minute early. I see some early birds in my chat. How's everybody doing? Randy, Teresa, Joan, Jan. Hello, another surprise stream. What do you know? <laughs> I'm sneaky that way. Oh, Lord. Jazz hands. I'm up on the big TV. I have, they put a smart TV down here in the basement studio for me. And I had it hooked up at one time that I could get into YouTube. Hey, Linda, I can't get in there anymore. And it said, what did the error gave me the other day? Uh, I don't even remember what it said, but it didn't sound good. <laughs> Just start from scratch again, I think. Hey, Susan. All right, so um, decided to stream today. I did get all my, hey, Dot, pack, hey, Susan, my packages together for the, the trades for the retreat coming up. And it's only like a little over three weeks away. What's today's the 1st of July. The 25th is the cookout. So, yeah, about three weeks. Hey, Martha. So anyway, um, got those all done, packaged up, ready to go. And I made the, got all these done. I just threw this out here for some color for my thumbnail. <laughs> um, everybody's little um, tags for their tent cards. So I can show everybody where they're sitting. Got those done. And I got a couple things that I wanted to play with. I, I was watching um, Elizabeth St. Hilaire the other day. And, um, oh, Gala. <laughs> Silence as the moderator enters. <laughs> I'm taser proof, just so you know. Um, but anyway, I saw Elizabeth St. Hilaire and she had, is it Nancy at Joggles that she's partnered with? I think it's Nancy that has Joggles. Anyway, I saw the two of them on one of Elizabeth's streams lately and they were working on these um, size envelope size 10 envelope like inserts these are like a heavy card stock i think i haven't even opened them black panel cards and these are watercolor paper and they fit into size 10 envelopes hey nancy <laughs> oh i'm full of them full of something hey janine so anyway i got some envelopes and these assorted colors from the good old amazon these are um, number 10 envelopes. And then I got these, this little assortment of kind of muted colors. So I thought maybe for one of my projects at the retreat, I'd mess with, hey, hey Z, I'd mess with, um, you know, doing some kind of little watercolors or collages on these and have them matched with an envelope. Or future cards that's just that's i can't do cards the intricate way like normal people do them like joan as a machine making cards and xander with all the die cuts and all that good stuff and layers and oh that's too tedious for me i can't do it my brain can't go that slow and be that exact about stuff so um let me get this out of the way i got everybody's names on here Oh, not that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying. <clears throat> so, had a little, been looking at these for a long time. Got me a set of ocean watercolors. Might play with those later. A little bamboo box. And while I was ordering those cards from Joggles, 
I saw these and I thought I should get a couple of those. Pixie Sparkles. Has anybody tried these by Cosmic Shimmer? Of course, I got Green Bay and Teal Marine. That <laughs> should be a shocker to anybody. When I'm making my ephemera stacks, one thing I came up with making a box out of a UPS flight envelope. Oh, cool. I'm surprised you don't have them, Jan. Link for ocean watercolors, please. It's oceanpaper.com. Hey, Amalia. Oceanpaper.com. Uh, they're in Hawaii. Anywho, so I also, I had a little Jerry's order recently, and they had this new brand of watercolor paper, New York Central Art Supply. Never heard of it. So I thought I'd try this because these are about the size of those cards that I could maybe trim off the edge a little bit and get them in a number 10. I probably do have them somewhere in my house. Ate them. <laughs> oh, God bless you. All right, put that in that pile. So um, I think what I'll play with first is, um, oops, get back there get back this so this is um i got this on amazon of course it's in a case of 12 so i will be sharing some of this as giveaways for the retreat um and i want to see how this works in the on the gel plate so if anybody follows chris with a k zorko uh on facebook she's an artist and does a lot of mixed media stuff cb and she said that she was in a doctor or dentist's office the other day and thought, huh, this covering they put on the, on the stretchers and tables for you to lay on might be good for jelly printing. So she bought a couple rolls of it and it was, you know, the wide stuff. And I thought, oh man, I hate using something that wide and have to cut it and all that stuff. Usually when I get something real long like that, I'll have Dave take out the Sawzall and just cut that sucker wherever I want it all the way in half through the core of it. Um, so uh, anyway, I looked on Amazon and I found they had an eight inch roll for the headrests, but this is a 12 inch roll for the headrest. I didn't want it eight inch and be exactly here because then it's a pain. It's always sloppy on the edges. You can't, you get it on your hands, you get it on everything. So this one's 12 inches and it's, I don't know, 250 feet or something. It's pretty thin. You can see through it. Hello. Um, but it's, you know, fairly strong. So I thought we'd give her a go. Blonde Lebanese, hello. What a description, moderator. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, Gala's intro. She's very colorful. Oh, look at CB with all the faces. Some get a nice one. Some get a tongue stuck out. Some get a heart. Real nice. Not that you're biased or anything. <laughs> hey, Ellen. All right, so anyway, let's let's just have a go with this paper, and we'll see what happens. We don't know what's going to happen. We never do. So I'm going to grab a few stencils. CD, CB, you're just a lover. That's all. I'm going to root my drawer here and look for some stuff that I haven't used for a while. Here's a couple PM Artist Studios. Let's throw a couple of those out. Good old Uncle Joe. Oh, a text one for maybe some layers. Maybe one of these. <clears throat> okay, somebody's blowing up my phone. Let me make sure everything's kosher. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, enough of that. All right, let's just throw these off to the side here. And let me get a few sheets of this stuff ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Yvonne. Yay. All right, so let's... You know, we're not measuring anything, right? We're just going to kind of eyeball it. This is like a medical headrest, like for a table, a headrest cover, disposable, sanitary-ish thing. I, and I'll, I'll post the um, link. If anybody is interested in this paper, once you see what it does, let me know. And I'll, I'll get over to my Amazon account and share a link with what I got. This is really light. It's got a little bit of a slickness to it. Hot, yeah, blonde, I have, my cough is much better. I will have a little attack every once in a while where I almost gag coughing so hard, but it comes like out of the blue. Riri, you made it in. Yay. We can see you. I'm glad whatever that was got fixed. Um, yeah, so I just feel like something like hits me like a little pin in the back of my throat or something, a tickle, and I'm instantly in a real bad coughing spell. So hopefully that doesn't happen on here. Oops. Where are we going? What's happening there? There we go. <laughs> Yeah, Riri contacted me the other day and said, look, she was blocked from my channel. And I know we didn't intentionally block her. And then I went, tried to look at some YouTube videos about how to unblock somebody. And I got in and I could see who was blocked. And it was all the porn idiots that try to get in. And uh, no Riri and nobody else. So I couldn't undo anything. But she's back. Hopefully, we don't have to block her for real. <laughs> Uh-oh, what happened with Jan? I missed something. Oh, no, that's I see Gail's comment. God forbid that's an air conditioner break in Alabama in the summer. <laughs> Be moving to a cat-friendly hotel. All right. This should hold me. All right. Let's, let's see what this stuff does here. Let's see how she goes. Of course, no two of these are the same size. That's how we roll here. We mix it up. All right. Oh, paints would be good. I did get a few new paints. I'm telling you, I don't know if there's an off chance that Denise Love may see this. But she is costing me some money. And I saw these. These, You know these aren't really my colors, but I love them. Where in Alabama are you? No, it's, it's Jan that's in Alabama, Janine. April, I know that little rascal. <laughs> she is, but I can't poo-poo her because everybody says I am. So she's probably great. <laughs> Let me pull this in a little bit. So I never even heard of these Charvin um, acrylics. 
I got them at Jerry's, but I just got a few weird colors. Like, look at this one called Tanned. Ash Violet, Caribbean Pink, and this one is Julia's Pink. She's making me buy outside my comfort zone. <laughs> we may try a little squirt of that on the on the gel plate. Uh, hang on, let me pull a couple other paints out of here. We can't do anything without my beloved iridescent bronze and a clean up. I need my tight tight and buff. Three words. Um, let's see. Ouch. Or this box in my way. Let's try some of that. Oh, let's pull this out. I forgot I had this unicorn spit. Let's try to get a unicorn to spit on the plate and see what happens. Um, <laughs> There's that other color I wanted. Uh, really? Where you at? Oh, you know what? I think this cart got spun around. It's on the other side of the cart, I betcha. Ah, uh, no, it is. Yep, there it is. We'll take this one. It's partially empty. And let me get some black and white. And a PBO or two. And then we're good to go. Oh, all right. A couple PBOs, black and white, a few teals, and a bronze. What could be more perfect? Hey, Flo. Just catching up on chat. I didn't have a stroke. I may, but I didn't yet. Gail, she's always the one claiming to have a stroke, but she's a little dramatic, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's try. Let's just put something down here. Let's go with a little bit of this. Oh, that one's really getting kind of low. Luckily, I have a backup. Get out of there. Let's mix that with unicorn spit. Let's just muck it up right off the bat. I think I tried this in the plate before and I don't know how, I don't remember how it worked. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Gel stain, unicorn spit. I don't make this stuff up. <clears throat> All right, just for giggles, let's see what happens here. Oh, it's, it's bubbling up. I like that texture. Oh, there must have been something laying against this plate. There's little teeth mark ridges all down the side kind of embedded in it. Great. Let's do this one. This is um, a PM Artist Studio stencil, I do believe. And let's try this new paper. <clears throat> it picks it up well. No problems with the pickup. Let's see. Let's use another piece here and just keep it on the side and keep adding to it to clean out some of this stuff here. Oops. Oh, I smushed it. That's okay. This is I just said it's a clean up page. So that's what she's going to be. Yes, yeah, CB, it's texture. Wow, that's still not coming up off of there. That didn't, that unicorn spit kind of buried that blob. And look at all that. Wow. Bad spit. Unless you wanted to do that. Wow. Huh. Okie dokie. Now, let me have a piece of my 
Deli, where are you? This is just deli paper. I want to clean this off a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now let's let's leave this on there and let's take some bronze and see if it fills in around it. <laughs> we do it a little different here, Flo. <laughs> a very sturdy paint builder. All right, let's just do a little bit of this on top here. Oop. All right, let's take another little piece of this doctor paper. Hey, instead of Dr. Pepper, Dr. Paper. Look at me. I'm like some sort of a comic genius. <laughs> Let me have my way. Luckily, nobody else's voice can be heard here but mine. <laughs> I hear the crowd roaring in the background. Give her the hook. Total chaos. I'd like to get lost in that total chaos one day. I can't imagine what I would find in there. Oh, I can't imagine. I can imagine. This um, will be really nice to collage on, too, because it's very thin. Oh, that really cleaned it up. Clean up. That let some of that come through. But this is, um, I think Chris is on to something there. Got to tell you. Um, let's see. Let's do something wide open like this. <coughs> let's do a little, little black and a little bronze. Oh, you know what? Let's do... The fluid bronze. Let's get it really mucked up in here. Oh, oh, Jesus. Huh. Oh, that drawer was, oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, break me up, Gala. Oh, moly. That wasn't good. <laughs> Damn Wheaties. I am. Wow. Oh, it's good Lord. I pulled out one of these cage drawers on my little stacked up paint thing over here. No, I'm sitting. I didn't fall. I um, apparently had too many Wheaties this morning and pulled the drawer and it flew completely out of the, what well, was stuck on a bottle. And then when it came unstuck, it just flew completely out of the rack and off the runners and onto a box underneath of it. You know, the usual that happens to everybody. Oh, I forgot to shake it. So it's already a little munged up there. That's okay. Let's really kill it here. Let's let's roll it first, and then I'll spray it. Let's make a mess. We're going to do anything. Let's not do it half ass. Let's just get in there and get after it. Now, let's spray it a little bit. Let's see if that's going to get it to do anything. Yeah, it's starting to pucker up there and move a little bit. Now we just have to sit here and wait for the paint. Oh, cool. I have a, a 9 by 12 uh, too, Jan. I like, I like, um, 
you know, I took way back years back when they first came out and they first came out with the 12 by 14. Of course, I cannibalized mine to try to make an eight and a half by 11, which I did. Although I got to tell you, it was kind of rough cutting it. Anything I use to try to cut it, it's not as clean edge, trust me. But it's it's about the right size. But when I print on it and you push down on it, the paint squidges out a little bit because it's a gushy gel plate and it's all over your hands. So I think the way to go is just to get one that's a little bit too big and then put another, like another layer, put your paper down and then put another layer that reaches around it that picks up on a waste paper like that. What was the black paint? It was just Blick Matte. Dick Blick. Matte acrylic. Good bits of camera. What are you talking about? I must have missed something. I'm letting this see the, the turquoise is kind of breaking out, but because the blacks in there, it looks more kind of well, there it looks more turquoise. It looked kind of navy there at first. If you're watching the recording, you might want to scoot ahead a little bit because this is looking pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. You need what I might do. Nah, I might not. Let's just go with the plan. Let's put the stencil down. I'm going to try to get some open big marks around those green blobs there. Let's see what we got. Here we go. More Dr. Paper. Let's see how it holds up to this wet bowl. The paint's going to come through it, so I'm just going to pat it. Patty pat in the paper. I know there's a nursery rhyme in there somewhere. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A mess. All right. Let's just see what happens when that dries. It might be okay. It will be okay. I refuse to believe otherwise. Let's pick up this ghost. Yeah, I'm going to um, probably do a little collage. And I'll work some of this into it, um, Jan. Let's see. That's kind of cool looking. Let's use. Oh, this is a piece of glassine that's down here just in there by itself. Let's just use this. This is usually something good to clean the paper up. I can never remember the word glassine. Hey, Glenda. Um, I can never remember that word. And when I'm trying to think of the word, for some reason, I think the name of this starts with a Q. What the hell? Where does that come from? Oops, write me up again, Galen. I mean, these are minor offenses, but you might as well write them down because I've been pretty good lately. I've been under the weather. That's why I haven't had my same vigor. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. Look at all that little blob of turquoise that came up there. Amazing! That paint is yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in the tummy. Okay, I'm going to use Uncle Joe, but I'm going to... He's getting kind of thick. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's use... Let's try one of these. <gasps> this is the Julius Pink. That's not as bright a pink as I was expecting it to be, but it's still pinkish. So let's put that down. 
let's put this down just for gigs. A little PBO, green, blue, blue, green. Sorry, blue, green. And let's get crazy and throw a little browns in there. What's the worst that can happen? Stand by and I'll show you. <coughs> All right, let's do this. So remember Uncle Joe, you just roll it, pick it up, move it. This is their, I think they call it their shadow technique. Is that right, Gala? Do you remember? I should have used a darker color so this would come up a little bit better, but I didn't. We're just going to roll with it. And the more you go, the more intersections you have. Oh, let's grab a piece of this. Where is it? Yeah, this is the exam table. Um, it's actually the headrest 12 inch wide roll of um, you guys want me to share the link of that? And you can look and find like a with a roll or two of different sizes instead of the case of 12, but I knew I was going to Oh, let's smarty pants think she found it here. Let's see if she did or not. She is a smart one. Let me go over here and look at it. 12 Avalon. While I'm here, let me go to my orders. That looks very similar. That may be it, actually, April. Let me find it. Avalon. I think you got it. Look at you. I'll go grab this link, too. Headrest. Cairo headrest paper. I'm sure if you're not a chiropractor, you can still use it if you're a dentist, but you know, whatever. Copy. Here's this link. See if they're the same. I think they're the same. Yep. You do, CB. You definitely need 12 rolls. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> you can share with your friends. I'm going to I'm going to give some of these away as the some of the door prizes. At the retreat. Now, that's pretty cool, but because these are so light, you don't really see the shadow thing unless you look around the edges. You'll see the... It's in there. She's subtle. Let's try that again with something a little more uh, appropriate in color. Oh, you have some of the wider of this kind of paper, but never told us it was a good paper to use. Hmm. It's an interesting little tidbit to know. <laughs> Gail is growing appendages now for the retreat. Well, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Let's do, you know what, let's just do something crazy. Let's do a little of this. Oh, that looks cool just like that. But just the lack of that. Now let's Uncle Joe this bad boy. And this is called Uncle Joe's because of the coffee ring design, I believe. <coughs> All right, let's see what we got here. April, straighten her out, would you?
it's completely different, CB. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That sounds like the alarm. <laughs> we got one of our guys here working. They've turned the back gate off. There you go. Okay. Completely talking to myself. Sweet Moses. Yeah, you and me both, Susan. I haven't been paying attention. Do you like it? I do. It's strong. It's translucent. Of course, when I'm putting acrylic paint on it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that one's cool. See, you can't hate that. You can try, but you cannot. You cannot. I'm just going to do a few more gel prints, and then we're going to move on. So, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's use this. This has a little bit of this. This is that Laco, I think it is. Studio Bronze in Britannia Silver. This is getting low, low, low in here. Luckily, I have it. Oh, that's the... The bottle, not the artist. Dip the little cap right in there. That's great. Let me turn you upside down a little bit. Let you drain. Um, what are we going to put with that? Let's do... Um, I don't know. Let's do this ash violet. Why not, April tissues are best for their children. Jan had um, suggested that Dixie wrap uh, 12 by 12 uh, sheets of deli. And that does go really translucent. It's not as sturdy as my quick wrap, obviously, but um, it does go very translucent. The quick wrap is not translucent. I don't use that when I want a translucent layer at all. <clears throat> let's see. Let's do. Let's do this. This wasn't such a good, not a good plan. Let's pick it up in black. Let's see what that does. Amalia, what's your question? Let me see. What is everyone going to be working on for the retreat? I'm going to be doing, um, playing with watercolors and collage. Are you doing um, clay this year, Amalia? Do I need to bring an oven? Nobody answered me about that, so I'm guessing nobody's doing polymer clay. If you guys that are flying have too much stuff, you know you can send it here. I'll try not to sell it on eBay. Joan can vouch for me. <laughs> I deliver, right, Joan? <laughs> A barn quilt, 24 by 24 aluminum. <gasps> Is that the metal, um, what's that stuff called? Metal embossing? Gala? See, there's Joan. And you know Joan's trustworthy, even if I'm not. <laughs> I'd be hard-pressed if I had to fly somewhere with taking my stuff. Okay, that turned out to be kind of a flop. It's got a little shimmer in it and some multicolors in there. It's all right, I guess. Eh, close up, it doesn't look too bad. Eh, not my favorite ever, ever, never. Okay, let's, um, let's do, let's do something. We're just going to 
we're going to get down here to clean this off here in a minute. But let's let's do this. Now she was planning on using half of your table, April. <laughs> going to see who her friends are. Okay, let's do this, and let's do this way. So this goes down so you can read it. I gotta, I gotta talk to myself every time I do text on the jelly plate. Let's put that on here, just because this is light, it's light and shiny, kind of like Gala. She's just a light that shines. Jan, just put a blindfold on, walk through the menagerie, and grab various things and throw them in a box. See what you come up with. Don't open it till you get here. <laughs> okay. See how the little pop-up brings that to life? You can't hate it, people. All right, and now let's let's do something. Maybe I'm going to let that dry a little, and then we're going to pick it up and call the gel plate a day. I just want to try this paper. Take a little more of that off of there. Close enough. Let's put a little tight and buff on here. Ah, Jan. <laughs> when I retire, I'll come down and help you sort things out. And hopefully not too many things fall into my truck. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. There must be a booger. Right there it is. A booger in my brayer. See those spots? Yep, that's what it is. I'm not going to worry about it now. So let's take another piece of doctor paper. <coughs> Barn quilt trizzles on it. It's painted on a large piece of wood attached to the front of barns. Do you guys have a barn? Just curious. I already know the answer, I believe. Or did you build a barn for the crows? A lamp, I'll be using a lamp, which is sandwiched with a piece of plastic type material in the center used for making outdoor signs. Look at you getting all crazy with something new. Well, Gala is just fascinating, Amalia, as you probably are well aware of. All right, let me let that sit there, get rid of the trash. Pencils away. Get rid of the brayer. This is real saturated. I'm, gonna, I'm doing this on purpose just to see how she pulls up. Oh, it's cleaning the plate. That This paper works like that glass scene for pulling stuff off the plate. Well, that didn't 
come out near as cool as I wanted it to, but it's off the plate. The plate's clean. So moving on, let me put this out of the way. <coughs> okay, so this is what we got. This, these couple of messy ones. Some of that peels coming out as it dries a little bit. Focus, focus, you better focus. Well, it doesn't listen. Much like Gala. Never listens to me. This one's still wet. But that one needs to go to the side. Here's the cleanup. Here's the one. I like this one. And I really like this one. And these are just, eh, just cleaning the plate. So, let us hydrate first. And then I'm going to put these paints away. All right, let me get rid of some of this stuff here. A little elbow room. Oh boy. You're going to fit. This, this, these two, and this one. All right. I'll have a little elbow room. Oops, it's not going to work. There we go. Uh -huh. Let's go in the, the PBO drawer. <laughs> I actually have a PBO drawer. Don't laugh. <coughs> um, you know what I want to do? Hang on. Before I do anything else, I'm going to try this stuff collaging it and see what happens. But let's just, for giggles... Are these sealed? Yes. Oh, new materials. Gail is on the cutting edge of art supplies here. Oh, yeah, we will connect, Joan. I'll take my, com Oop, my computer, too. I just want to see. And I think you just spray water and sprinkle these in there like you do all the other kind of salts and stuff. Oh, this isn't salt sparkles. You need a combination of large pearl mica particles and dye powder, which together produce a color explosion with an exceptional shimmering finish. Z, do you have any of these? Pour a surface, shake bottle before use, wet your paper, and gently tap some on. Some more water using a brush or spray. Don't let it come in contact with your eyes. Seek medical attention. Wash brushes and hands with warm, soapy water. Good Lord. Well, let's see if they're worth buying. So let's put some water. This is a little piece of bee paper. Let's do that. This one is the Green Bay. Oh, it's got glitter in it, Z. I don't know if it'll show yet. Oh, my water's dripping off my paper. Let me put a little more water on there. And this one is teal marine. Let 
Oh, that one's real sparkly. Let me see if I can show you without totally messing it up. There you go. Oops, it's dripping because I'm trying to show you. That's okay. Let's just let it do what it's going to do. And I'll put it over here for later. All right. <clears throat> what I say I was going to do? Collage, didn't I? Well, I said it. Yes, I did. Um, oh, here it is. Here's the book. Let's just do something here right quick. I knew you would, Z. Hey, Tara. You're on ACM, which stands for Aluminum Composite Material. Look at her defining acronyms. <laughs> oh, I love that one. It's one of my favorites. I got to make more of that tissue. Maybe I'll do that on a spare table at the retreat and every day just line up some trash bags. That's what I'm going to do. Somebody remind me to do that. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's see. So you can't use, um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to first, I'm going to put down a piece and collage it down so you can see through this because when I start using the solid ones with acrylic paint you're not going to see through it because it's acrylic paint right you got to try to see through this bit so let's let's throw a piece of this down let me get my <coughs> what's this called matte medium get, get a brush <laughs> Kill off. Almost hurt my feelings. Where the hell did I put that ruin? Run it, run it, run it. It's got to be out here somewhere. It's my favorite tearing ruler, and I used it earlier, right? What the heck? Oh, mercy. Nope, 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 nope. Crap. How is that possible? How is it possible? It's the one with the cork on it. I had this drawer open. Did I throw it in there? No. I would never put my ruler in that drawer. Well, color me confused. How could that be anywhere? Is it underneath here? Well, I'll be darn. All right, I'm going to have to make do with another ruler, which isn't going to work because it doesn't have cork on the back. And then I might get on Gala's list. <sighs> That's disturbing. I must have that ruler. Huh. I just want to get some open spots here. Let's just take this blob right here. Let's just do that. 
shall we? I might not collage, Gail. I might just do a little test of this. <clears throat> what am I doing? Good more. Oh, here it is. I'm all discombobulated. <laughs> this, 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 get rid of this. This is a serious issue. You may scoff at me, but I'm telling you. Okay. Um, piece of deli for my. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use this deli down here. Because I don't use this for anything but gluing on. I don't like the folds in it. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, you know what? We won't be able to see it because it's on white. Son of a fuck. The old brain's not working. Well, we'll just put this piece down. Then I'll throw something black down. And then we'll come back and go over top of it. How about that? Will that satisfy you people? It may go kind of clear, actually. Let's see. What do I have up here with black? Black, black, black. Where in the world? Well, you know what we could do? We could just tear off a piece of black paper. How about that? Let's do that. How difficult is that? Oh, no, April. That means you're coming this way. Glue it to your under paper so we can see if it's transparent. Good information about two minutes ago. Here, I'll give you, I'll put this black piece down. I'll make it so it's really, if it's going to show, it's going to show on this, right? Let's just put this bad boy down. And let's grab another piece of this. The thing with using this is worrying about it being transparent is if you're using it on the gel plate, most likely you're using acrylics, which will not be transparent uh, necessarily. And um, But if you use it for stamping or foiling or any of that other kind of good stuff, um, I'm going to say no, but it is a really nice layer to collage with because it is, it is very thin. I don't know. CB may be right. 
the hell am I going to do with 12 rolls of this stuff? No, it's a, it is nice to work with. It, do, it does. It is strong. Look how strong it is. And I had Wheaties. What did CB say? Looking at Chad, it seems we mods are very chatty. Yes, you are. That means trouble in Maryland. Yappity, yappity, yappity. <laughs> we'll have to see if you're lucky enough, Gail, to win the door prize. <laughs> um, so we'll let that sit and dry. I don't think I'm going to do a collage because I, Gala doesn't have her inhaler with her and you know the drama that comes with that. So perhaps we should just move on and do something else. What will that be? Let's, let's do something. Oh, remember this convoluted craziness from last time? <laughs> oh, mercy. Never could quite get it. <clears throat> that one's kind of pretty, though, how it all ran. Oops. What paint, what did I do that with? What paints were they? Does anybody remember? How did I do that? I really don't remember. That was only a few days ago. <laughs> hey, Virginia. See, Joan is very relaxed and laid back. She doesn't need an inhaler or any medical uh, machinery. No life support of any kind. No tranquilizers. The powdered ones. Yeah, but which powdered ones? I don't remember. I should remember that. Sweet Moses, it was only, it wasn't even a week ago. <laughs> All gone. I have to watch my own video when I get off here and try to figure out what the hell I was doing. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, let's get rid of this mess here. I've collaged enough with those damn notebooks the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I mean the lovely gifts for everybody. Let's do um oh mercy. Um I'm just gonna wrap this in a baby wipe for now. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Keep it moist until I have time to go over there. Let's do... What's up here? I don't know. Is this going to ring a bell? Oh, Lord. This poor thing. Oh, and these. Oh, where's the pig? <laughs> oh, Lord. Have mercy. There he is. <laughs> Didn't have a stroke, just reading the chat. That was a mess. This one, although it looks like a jumping sheep, that was, oh, that came out. I love the watercolor on it. That's that um, butterfly pea. 
salts from Colorado. No, Boulder Colors. What's Gala doing now? Your tongue is not young. Gala, hello. Not nice. <laughs> All right, what else am I doing? I got up here. I'm saying if something is going to jump out at me. Oh, there goes my dotted P. <clears throat> I don't want to remember that. That was quite the debacle. Okay. Let's do... Let's get out that new... Um, That's what I wanted to do. It's all coming back to me. I knew there was something. Hang on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I wanted to play with some flip flop, flippity flop colors. You guys know what those are? I show you. Where is my black paper? Black drawing paper. That's in the wrong bin. <laughs> that doesn't go there. Um. Did you see that? Oh, cute. I didn't even know I had those. I find all kind of stuff up here when I'm really looking for something. Let's use this. Some Stonehenge. April, what did you say I should do? Those pencils. They are pearly. So this is the Stonehenge. Aqua Cold Press Black. It's Legion. It's the same people that make UPO, but this is watercolor paper. And it is black. These paints are by Fine Tech. And you know, all the Fine Tech metallic tech paints. These are the flip flop colors. And some you can tell in the pan, they shift. See the different colors on the, the one on the end there? Some of them show it in the pan, some of them don't. But they look spectacular. This one's really pretty. That's a CB color right there. You know, kind of a trampy color. <laughs> and I have a separate one that's just silver that I got at one point. But there's no room to put it in there. <coughs> so let's spray these puppies down. <coughs> Don't get a tickle now. Don't do it. You know, here's a brush sticking out looking at me that I've never used it. It's an Infinity Arts by Fibonacci. Come on, baby. Work with mama. Put my dirty hands behind it. Maybe it'll give something else to focus on. Sure. Really? Oh, it's going to be one of those camera days. Come on. There we go. See, you just got to walk away and come back at it quick. <laughs> now you're looking for a squirrel. Well, I may, well, I may pick up my men and go home. <laughs> That's my girl. The new acrylic paint. I might top this with some of those, um, April, with some stencils. Now, what do you have Joan looking around the sofa for? A squirrel. What the hell is happening when I turn my back? But anyway, this is kind of a... Um, see the angle that's cut on? 
let's just play with this one and see what happens. <coughs> let's just do it. All right. These are very, the pigments just dance in these pans when you get them wet down and loosey-goosey ready to go. All right, let's try doing one of these Denise Love tricks here where she just kind of rolls the brush and kind of kind of sketch, sketchy and goes up the page. Might need more paint. Maybe it's not the right brush for this. Maybe it's the paper. But you get kind of a dried brush kind of a look to it. That doesn't look much like much right now. But you wait. See how that's shifting already? You just wait. Let's use this tealish one. I forget the names of these. But you can get these, a set of these on Amazon or Jerry's or, you know, pretty much anywhere now. They used to, when they first brought out the um, flip-flop colors, they would sell one of their sets of the regular pearl lesson or metallics and only have one flip-flop color in a pan. So if you wanted them, you had to buy more sets. I didn't do that. I just waited up on there, eventually come out with one and... Dad burn it the dead. And I'm just going to mix them. If they go to mud, then we get shiny mud. I'm not sure this brush is the way to go. Yeah, that orange one's really pretty. I'm going to go back over some of this teal in here, get it a little bit tealier. Well, let's just see. Now maybe let's do this hot pink looking number here. I think that's got purple in it when it shifts. And let's just make a let's make a blob right here of that one. That brush does feel good in my hand though. Patty, who made your set? Hang on. They show up well in black. What paints are they? It's hard to close the window. Big thunderstorms are here. Ah, who made your set? So um, this is Fine Tech. And they're called the flip-flop colors. And they come with these six in the in the in this palette. Is that what you're asking me? Who made these, CB? And let's just, let's get crazy. Why stop now? I'm not going for a masterpiece. I just want to see what these colors are doing on the black paper. I did have one that I played with before. I don't know where the heck it is.
this has got a really nice point on it where you can make some really good <coughs> straight lines. Well, straight for me. I'm not a machine, people. Drop some more pigment in there. this one one of these i'm not wild about i believe it's this one here i think it's like red and green which seems weird to me or is it this one Wait a minute. oh that one's not bad that's a lot it's a lime and a i don't know what that is let's just find out what it is <coughs> Just go through the circle and blend them. I like to mash them all together. I don't play by any rules. You people know me by now. <coughs> oh no, here comes the tickle. Z, I missed what brush is this. It's by Infinity, without an eye, without the first eye. And it's got a kind of a sword-ish kind of a tip to it. Yeah, this one, um, this teal that I went up here with it shift. Oh, I just spritzed myself in the face with the brush. I don't know if I can make it show it on here, but it switches. It shifts to purple. Oh, of course not. That's the one thing about cameras. That This right here is almost all purple, the way I'm looking at it. And I can't, no matter what I do. That orange red is like, wow, pow, right in the kisser. This blue, not sure about that one. But this one is just silver. And this, I think, has some real silver in it. You know, the Canadian smoke in Maryland was worse this week than it was when it first happened. And it was bad around here because one of my uh, friends that lives in, at, like in the D.C. suburbs, he posted a, um, a picture of sunrise one day and the, it was red. The sky was red. <clears throat> Elevate those gams, Dot. Um, it was never that bad here. And when it was a little hazy... It did not smell like smoke, but this week it did smell like smoke, and it was a little bit hazier, but not the red cast to it like some people had. But it was funny because to get to D.C., it had to go south of us. I don't know how it didn't, how that worked. I don't know how it happened. Let's just see if we can do a big circle in here of this. Wow, that really is silver. Wow. That's probably the silveriest silver in a watercolor that I've seen. Now, I wonder if I can get some thin circles. This is just a plain piece. Again, no masterpiece. I know you're expecting one. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Let's just do some real fine. You got to be careful of that tip because when it spreads out, instead of this little skinny tip, when it spreads out, you got a big, big old blob. 
All right, let me show you what this other one is. I think I've used all of them, but this one. I'll show you what this one is too. I don't want to be partial and poop. <coughs> Excuse me, poop. <coughs> oh, no. I'm going to try to do this off the side so you can kind of see it. <coughs> mm. Oh, that's not that bad. <coughs> Hang on. Hold on. I know. She, I think she had that in her recent haul. I had told her about it when she used a couple fine techs she got in an art box, one of her monthly subscriptions. I said, if you like those fine techs, you got to try these flip-flops and send her a link and then they were in her next haul. They are nice. They're real nice. <clears throat> I was wrong about that color. Take it back. I like it. It's a teal that turns into a reddish pink, which you may never see. See it? This looks kind of a blush there, but it's not. It's oh, there now. You're seeing it. it's, and you, these have to dry to get the real pow out of them. All right, let's do let's do a a real one. <laughs> uh, 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 what is this paper? I don't know what that is. That doesn't even feel like watercolor paper. I don't know what that is. <coughs> okay, let's um I should probably just pick out a couple of these to do. This, oh, this one shifts blue and purple. Let me see if I can make you see that one on the edge. It's a brilliant blue. There you go. See some of the purple in there? You can only see a little bit of it, but at a certain angle, it's all purple. In person. And here's this one. Let's see if I can make that one show you now what it's doing. Really brilliant turquoise. But you can't see the pink. It's a pinky purple. Violet-ish, if you will. Oh, that's frustrating. See, there you see it, but you don't see it. You see it's a different color, but you ain't seeing what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to change brushes. It's a lovely brush, but I want a tad more control. Just a tad. I'm going to try to do um, <clears throat> where's my other? Let me use this bigger silver one. All right, let me spray this again. Let's go in for this bad boy. CB, you can get them on Amazon or Jerry's. Dick Blick probably has them. What am I going to do? Let's try to do, let's do this again but with a different brush so I get more on here. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, but you know what I want to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. As I use this, I'm going to see what they do on white. I'm going to let it dry. Dry, dry, dry. <clears throat> yeah, they're not cheap, but fine tech aren't cheap. And if you, if you look for any uh, like handmade watercolors or anything that's shifting, color shifting, a half pan can cost you closer to $20 on some of these sites. Um, so these are six pans for the 50. So it's less than, what are they? Eight bucks a piece or something. Eight sixes is 48. Close enough for my mouth. Math, we round down. Ooh. Let's, uh, now what was this? That was that one. That was kind of purpley. Um, Trying to see what how they shift and what what other color would be. Let's do something similar. Dropping a little bit more pigment in some places. Let's see what that does. And then I'm going to put in, oh, I'm going to do this on white. Where'd the white go? Yeah, these aren't going to look near as nice on white. One thing I used to do with those Tokyo pigments that were color shifting that I got a number of years ago, <coughs> I would, oh, excuse me, I would um, leave it to April. I'm sure she found them. Yep, you did. Oh, they're higher on there. High sparkling. What are high sparkling? Silver and golds. Five pearlescent and one flip flop. Yeah, there's different different combos there. Okay, let me get back to my window. Concentrate, Patty. What are you doing? <coughs> but uh, what I used to do when I would do use white paper is I would take um, even I was doing watercolor. I'm trying to think of where I might have one of those. I would take um, black gesso, and if I wanted to put like a circle of a pop of this shifting color, I would take black gesso and paint a circle on the watercolor paper and let it dry and then put the shift over the black to make it really pop. And that works. This is my practice sheet. I'm going to do something here. Let me. Can you blend these? What happens when you blend them? Let me turn it over. It makes your eyes go crazy. Here's the blue. Let me put the blue on here while I got it on my brush. Yeah, no, these aren't going to look so good on there. I can already tell you. Not so great.
shipping on Dick Flick would make it cost more than Amazon. I know you got to watch some of those rascals with that. Um, now let's try mixing it with this one. This might make our eyes go crazy like those concentric circles did. <laughs> and I'm going to try these two. Let's mix this one. And let's mix this. Let's use this on the brush. While I got it. Ooh, look at all that. I'm going to make one with the orange. See what that does. And let's mix this one with this blue again. <coughs> let's set that off to dry and see what happens there. All kinds of colors in each one. The pinky one with the purple is. Don't let your peach cobbler burn. That would be a crime. Okay, now what do I want to do? This, um, oh, and you see, you can't see it. Because this one here that looks purple and hot pink, that was this one here. That one on one angle has that orange color in it. But the other one does. Can I make you see it? It's so strange. So if I'm looking at it like that, you got to look at it like that probably to see it. You can't. It's just impossible. Ah, you're just going to have to believe me. So let's do, I want to do something else, but what do I want to do on there? Put a big blob in the middle and let it blend with both of them. Let's use this one. <clears throat> Hope I didn't put it on the white. You not so smart. Why the pinky one would look like the Charvin pink. I wonder what the pinky one would look like with the Charvin pink. We're going to find out. This one needs some more oomph down here where it kind of petered out. Oh, put me down for that one too, Gala. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> it might have been a mistake right there. It might have been la boo boo. But let's, if we're going to screw it up, let's just really screw it up and put more pigment on there. Oh, I know what I wanted to do, but not with these. <clears throat> I was... I get sucked into looking at these reels on Facebook and Instagram for recipes and different kitchen-y stuff. That is another thing that I really like. <clears throat> I'm going to let this sit a minute and dry. Um... And I saw this guy said he went to a trip to Italy and he always likes to look for kitchen gadgets when he's there. And um, he uh, found, oh, let's try this one. He found, it's a Tintoretto 3 slash 0. I'm not trying to make skinny lines with this. Anyway, he was shopping in like a kitchen store and he's found these little water bottle sprayers. I mean, it's nothing fan, nothing Italian, but they were advertised that they use them to dilute sea salt. So, of course, I had to try it because I like salt too much. And apparently I didn't. It sat too long because, you know, my mom was not well and then I got sick and blah, blah. blah here we are. And I started to get little slimies in it because it sat too long. But this is sea salt boiled in water. And you let it cool and you put it in a glass sprayer. 
and then you spray it on whatever food they said suggested like on corn on the cob it's so easy to put a layer on corn on the cob even on certain cocktails that would have like a salt like a margarita salted rim to spray it over the cocktails um or anything where you'd use salt right so i had to do it well now it's got little slimies in there so i thought what would it do on watercolor if i applied salt like this more concentrated in water and sprayed it <clears throat> So, I think that's what we'll do. Now, see, here they are on the white. And I, they do get shiny when they dry. You got to let them dry. But when they're on a certain angle, see how crappy they look? I don't like that. I only like them on dark colors. They don't do much for me there. But you got to, if you put them over black, can't beat them. Um, let's just, for gigs... Hang on, I'm doing too many things here. Let's, hang on, I got some watercolors sitting here. I got a new pan, one of these new, well, it was an, a new one. I had one that I hadn't used yet of these um, palettes that um, Irit sells on her website. And she gets them from somewhere over there. They're plastic. But I really like them because they have big wells and then they have the little tins that come out. All right. So I just made like a favorites palette. So I got all my darks that I like around here. And then I'm waiting for a few holes to be filled in there. Um, so I'm going to just for gigs, I'm going to take a couple of the big and it's got this palette that comes out right to use it. If you need more surface area. So, um, my brain froze. Oh, did you see that? It just froze. This is lunar black. I'm just going to wet some of these right in here. My darks. Let them sit a minute. I'm just going to throw some paint on here and I'm going to, I'm going to spray it and see if it does anything. The Bahama one, this one, um, Caribbean pink. Is that the one you're talking about, um, April? Actually, they're all kind of pinky. <laughs> A Caribbean pink, tanned, and Julia's pink. All right, let's just... Throw a little bit of something on here. This is one of those Schmincke, uh super granulating. It's a black. What black is it, though? It breaks out and you can see blue in it. Let's just paint a couple blobs of it here. I'm good at painting blobs. Depending on what your what your definition of a blob is. <laughs> okay, let's let that start to break down. And um, what is that called? Arctic black, I think it's Arctic black. I don't know. Um, this is my favorite lightning, I believe. Is that lightning? No, this is a different one that she makes. That one breaks down into a blue, too, I think. Granulating. Oh, this one's lightning. Yep, yeah, that's lightning. That's one of my favorite ever. Those are nibs. Nibs watercolors. Patty. Oh, hey, cat. Have you given up on your giant round palette, Patty? Uh, for the time being, yes. It takes up so much room when I stream. I, I don't have the room for it. But in my retirement, it may come back on the scene. I like this color right here. This is an ocean watercolor. It's called Copper Green Deep.
All right, now, before they get too dry, I'm going to spray them with salt water. Oh, look, it reacted right away. Can you see it? Let me see how fine a mist this is. Okay, I got to back up and hit it with a finer mist. Ooh. And it's working. Wow, it's really working. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. mommy like you. Let's let that baby sit over there and dry. What time is it? Three o'clock. When did I come on? 1 30? We'll go for a little bit longer. Um <coughs> what was I doing? Oh, this. Back to this. That was a mistake probably going down there. But when you turn it this way, that strip down the middle is purple. It's too bad. Oh, there you can kind of see a little bit with the fold in it like that. You can see different. That orangey red one, that's the one that flashes the most. That's why it reminds me of CB because she flashes the most. Anyway, back to this brush. Look at this long, skinny little rascal here. I've had this one for I don't know how long. What was your mix parts? Um, are you talking about this, CB? If you're talking about this, this orangey color over here was this first one. This was the second one. And this greenish teal one over here was what I threw down the middle. If that's what you're talking about. Oh, the salt water. Oh, um, it was just, I think it was a, <coughs> I think I boiled a couple cups of water. And of course it was way too much for this. And I believe I put like two tablespoons of, um, I'll have to look back at it for sure. One tape, maybe it was one tablespoon of sea salt in it. I think. I don't know. But look what it's doing crazy stuff over here. It's having its way with these granulating colors. You can't hate it. All right. So I thought about getting real skinny silver lines by using this little skinny, skinny brush. And let's see what we can do with this in here. I like to watch those little see him dancing in there. Okay, now when I should have thought out what am I gonna do first? Well, let's just make some little circles somewhere. Oop, it's gonna drip. Oop, caught the drip. Let's just do it. Oh, look at you. Oh, that's a good brush for that. Alexa, cutting in on my art time with a notification. That's a good brush for that one. <laughs> Hello, lover. Mama likey. Let's, what do we want to do down here? Do we want to just do some, another one? Let's do another smaller one here. If you can get it till just like one hair touches it. See how fine that is? Well, you're so fine. Okay, well, it should be three on there, right? <sighs> Let's just do one, a little teeny tiny one up here. Oh, that one got all kind of discombobulated. That's okay. It's okay. I like this one. <clears throat> so now, oh, knocked over the salt. Let's let those dry. 
and <coughs> let's get out a little stencil or two. Oops. Oh, here are these mixtures that I did. Oh, wow. Actually, I, you guys won't be able to see it, but these are doing some really cool changes. This one's completely bright violet purple when you turn it a certain way. And you know how I like turquoise and purple? I could just sit here all day and flip it back and forth. I mean, that's why they call them flip-flops. Can't stop flipping their flops. Of course, they're still wet, so I'm screwing that up. But, oh, eh, well, that's what I'm good at. Um, hang on, let me, let me rejig this. I do like this palette though. Gives you the best of both worlds. <coughs> okay. Um, I want to get a couple stencils. That's what I started to do. Dots and lines. I found this one. I had this one. I forgot about this a little tribal border one. Not sure that one's apropos for this, but just some little something somethings here. Let me get a palette, a paper palette. PP. And that ruler disturbs me. I got to have that ruler. I use it every time I'm down here. And I used it earlier. And she's nowhere to be found. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So let's try. Let's see. That one's kind of pale. This one. There's this one. I don't know, April, do you have a preference? Can you see? Uh-oh, what Gail is saying? Our power seems to be flickering. Uh-oh. That just means she's getting ready to have a stroke and she wants to have an excuse not to get away from modding. <laughs> Save yourself, Gayla. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop around 3.30, I think. Not sure what to do. What, what do you think? Well, um... Let's try a mixture of these two. Whatever happens, happens. These are real nice and creamy. Now, where is my... God bless you. Uh, I need to go over to the sink and see if I left a couple of my washed out sponges over there. <clears throat> I sat too long. Grunting like an old lady. Yeah, not that that should be strange. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, let's just get after it, shall we? Come on. 
That's sort of pretty. Let's mix them to just get another little bit down here somewhere. Just a little bit. <clears throat> oh, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I had a thought and it left me. Oh, it's back. It's back. Hang on. Um, I'm wondering which one to use. I'm looking in the pen department. I want one a little bigger than that, I think. What are these? No, I don't want the brush. I don't want the brush. I think that's a brush too. That's too fine. That's a too fine. I'm looking for a gold pen. I thought I had a fatter one. Oh, here we go. 0. 0.7 gold. Here, let's use this one. Let's try this one. Top one looks like a good flesh color. This one here, that's the um, Caribbean pink. Patty, first impression of the paint. You, yeah, I do. It's very creamy. Um, it's not cheap. But it's very creamy. I don't know that I would use it on the jelly plate much. Like, I use goldens, but sparingly. Only, like, my favorite color or two. But, um, it's, uh, well, I don't know. Let me give it a good... Let me give it a, a better test than just drawing up one here and on this watercolor paper. Taking my glasses off. I was thinking about putting some gold dots around here. I forgot until I saw Denise doing this. And somebody else does this. I did this a number of years ago when I was doing those watercolor stripes on the lines. I mean, a lot of people do it, but I always I like it, and then I forget about it. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not really showing up that great. I need to get a different... Oh, you know what I should use? Oh, I just thought about that the other day. <clears throat> Hang on. Don't anybody go anywhere. I'm going back after this. But I need to find a tool that I thought about the other day. Really? I don't have it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. I got one. I thought about using a dot tool to make little dots with this goldy, goldy, gold, gold. Instead of trying to draw. See what I did there with the little gold bits? But they don't, they're not really showing up great. I mean, they're okay. I see a duck and a toboggan. Oh, God. Now that you said that, I looked down in the camera and I saw a beak and an eye and the... <laughs> Here we go. Hey, at least I switched from penises in my art to wildlife. A different kind of wildlife. 
Oh, God. Yep, she's saying sue me golden now. Let's see if this dot tool works. I mean, how can it not work, right? It's got to work. It's just a dot tool. Let's do oh, geez, Louise. Wow, the first dot. It's like one dot. And there we go. All right. Well, let's just go for it. I got to take my specs off so I can see up close. All right. Here we go. Let's see if it happens. Yeah, that Posca pen pretty much soaked up into the background there. It was barely shiny. Isn't that weird? Let's see what this one does. Maybe it's the paper. Oh, I got a big blob there. Oh, well. So be it. Oop. Big dot. I'm not talking about you, Dr. Dot. Relaxing with your legs propped up like a little queen. A princess. Some sort of royalty. <clears throat> okay. That might be enough with the dots. <laughs> I remember I got these tools because Cece had them and I had to have them. I got a little tiny brush on one end and then a, um, different size dot tools. There's a set of them. <laughs> God, we're back to the duck and the toboggan. Oh, sweet Moses. What else does it need? Anything? Anybody? Speak now or forever hold your peace? Hang on, let me get a piece of paper. This is just my black bond paper. Hang on. Let me, I'm going to do a squidge of each one of these, April. Just for you. That's because I love you. Well, apparently... I'm not very good at the tubes. <laughs> really? How is this possible? There we go. I got her. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I know. Don't you forget it, Missy. <laughs> Some black stenciling, just a bit on the color. Oh. Like a little reverse-y thing there. That could be interesting. Okay, so do I have an acrylic brush anywhere close, or am I going to use my finger? I'm just going to use my finger, because it's going to get dirty anyway. So I'm not sure how much of a great demo this is going to be. I'll even use a different finger for each color. <laughs> They're really creamy. 
and the pigment load looks pretty good. <clears throat> so they're still wet, so we got to let give them a fair shot and let them dry. <sighs> and this paper does sometimes it may affect the color of these two because it, it, this black does bleed into other colors. If you remember when I pick it up with a jelly print with white paint or the the Titan Buff, it kind of gets a bluish gray hue to it. It's this bleaching. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, black stenciling, huh? Hang on. Oh, the phone. Let's try this little long skinny one here. Oh, now all that egg on ink's wet. Well, we'll try it on a little, a little skinny edge. Black. Blip, blip, blip. Black. Let's see how this shows up. <clears throat> Darn it, I got black, I mean, wet ink now just about everywhere. <laughs> There's no real strategic place I can do this at the moment. Maybe let's go this way. Let's try to get a little bit over here in the purple. Just a little teeny tiny bit over there. Let's see what happens. Not bad. Let's do. Ah. Gonna have to go over this little pinky stuff over here. Let me just go back to this side. That's closer to the edge of the stencil. I was looking at how much gap there was there. And over here it's even bigger. I have to trim that off one of these days. Let's do this. Just a little bit here and there. Okay, we will stop that. Stop it. Great. Who didn't see that happening? All right, so there you go. I wish you could see these colors flashing, though. That gives it a little bit of interest in there with the black. That was a good idea. Just like how we bring white in when it's on white paper, right? PM! Hello! Catching up on chat. My duck. I... I hope you guys like my um, my duck in a toboggan painting that I did. <laughs> oh, Lord. I will never unsee it. Anyway, there you go. Flip-flop colors on black watercolor paper. Some mica gold ink dots on top of the silver watercolor. Some of that Charvin acrylic. Has your mom... Mariah, has, has Patricia ever used any of these um, Charvin acrylics? <clears throat> I 
I never even heard of them until I saw um, a dwarf. Oh, not a dwarf, please. Oh, that tickles me. They they look, they feel fancy. Um, Denise Love made me buy them. Um, they're not cheap. They're very creamy, highly pigmented. But I never even heard of the brand before. They make a lot of oil paint stuff. But they also have a line of acrylics. And they have really different colors. Like these colors, I don't know how well they're showing up on the screen. But they're very different to any colors that I've seen in a tube before. Ash Violet, that's a very, very pale lavender. It looks kind of gray on the screen. This is a Caribbean pink, it's called. It's like a good skin tone, but on the pinky side. This one's called Julia's Pink. I thought it was brighter than this, looking at the website. And this one's called Tanned. That's a really pretty color. So different from my normal. thought I'd get out of the box. Yeah, Mariah, what are you and P going to bring to work on the retreat? I'm sure she's going to be drink, bringing, I'm sure she's going to be jelly printing. Bring all things jelly printing. And don't forget, again, you guys ship ahead whatever you need to ship ahead. Okie dokie. I was doing, messing with some of your stencils earlier, um, Mariah, I did a little quick jelly printing session with a new kind of paper. To me, it's a roll that you can get on Amazon. It's a um, it's paper that a doctor would put over a stretcher or a headrest. This 12-inch one is for a headrest. It's real, it's like tissue or deli, uh, but it's, you can see it's sheer, right? But it's it's really strong. So I did a few gel prints today. Oh, there's a little Uncle Joe's popped out. And it collages really nicely. So and I'm gonna, I have a few rolls I'm going to give away at the retreat as door prizes. Should you be lucky enough? That was Uncle Joe's underneath there. But it was so light with the mixture of paint. You really have to look to see it. And I did it. And I can't really see it now with the text on there. That really blotted it out. And then... This one, that was just a cleanup. That one kind of blurred out there. But anyway, we're playing with a few of them this morning. And let me show you. Guys, this is dried now. So you can see. Oh, shoot. Come on, get off. Get off of me. Not great for collaging. Not doesn't go that clear. See, we're, and this is dried. But you can even see the brush strokes of the matte medium over top of that. And it dulled out the shine. This is just over white paper. And it, of course it went clear there because it's white anyway. But, um, you know, when you're putting acrylic paint all over the whole thing, it doesn't matter really if it's translucent or not. Let's be honest. Okay, kids, what time is it? 3.38. All right, that's my, that's my two-hour contribution to society. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize. So here's those blobs of watercolor that I sprayed my salt water, sea salt and distilled water mixture on. <laughs> oh, Gala, what kind of sprays, Mariah, I can bring? Oh, wait a minute. What are we going with sprays? Hoping PRZ can bring sprays. What kind of sprays? We got sprays. Love Lindy's, but really any type watered down is okay too. Okay. Somebody remind me to do that. Hey, Devin. I got a lot of Lindy's. You figured right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Devin, do you notice my duck and a toboggan painting here? Went from abstract to a duck and a toboggan. The duck's head I can't unsee because I put his friggin' eye right there with those silver swirls. <laughs> and his little turned up beak. Bless his heart. These are the, um, for those coming in late, the Fine Tech flip-flop colors that shift. You can see them shift. 
shift and change lovely colors right in front of your eyes. There you go. We're going to call her a day. Oh, so anyway, this is the one I sprayed the salt spray on with the granulating colors. I just went poof with one little mist and it did exactly what salt does, but I think even cooler. And now you don't have the mess to clean up off the page with the pesky salt granules. Good to know. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm saying good to the coming to the barbecue. That's good. PM holding something in her mouth. What's happening there? Oh, the duck's holding something in her mouth. I pictured it as a he, a mallard with all the shiny green colors on him. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'll have to try it out and play with it. I thought since it got a little slimy in there, I wasn't going to use it on my food. See the little little swimmies that are in there? Maybe, maybe not. They're there. It sat too long before I got to spray it on food. A striped worm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you, your, your imaginations are running wild. Uh, oh, I wanted to see how these, where did they go? The ones that I... They're probably with my damn metal. Oh, here they are with my ruler. That really, that's not good. So here I mixed a couple of those. I mixed these two and this center one. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's shifting all over the place in front of me. This one was this one and the blue, these two. And that shifts all kind of crazy blues and purples. And there's like a hot pink in there. It's so hard to show on the flipping camera. And a darker blue. And a little of that orangey. See that little orangey bit there where it thinned out? Remember I told you that pink had orange in it? I'm not fibbing. This one's still a little bit wet. But this, I believe were, these were these two mixed. And I wish you could see the purple. At one, one angle... It's brilliant purple and it's almost flat to my eye. So I got to try to make the camera do that. And I cannot. There you saw a little flash of lavender, but I mean, it's bright purple. You can see a purple hue, but you ain't seeing what I'm seeing. But they're fun. I like it. All right, kids, Mama's going to go take a break. And uh, thanks for joining me on another last minute one. <laughs> they are yummy. They are yummy, yummy, yummy. We will be streaming, Dot. Behave or we'll have to block you. Thanks, Jan. Thanks for joining. Oh, there you go. Uh, M and P, you can ride with Z <laughs> to come over to, to the house. Oh, there you go. Gala, your mod's trying to give you shelter when you get there. Bless her heart. Thanks, Patty. This last black paper is cool. Enjoyed. Oh, I'm glad you did. Glad I could entertain you, CB. All right, kids. Um, I might sneak a stream in. If it's really rainy and crappy, I might jump in between P&M and Z. Somewhere in there, maybe. Fat chance. Yeah, I know who I'm talking to, Dot. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging, and I will see you soon. Bye.